Yo, 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 welcome to Michael T. Porter Skits and Stories. I got another story for your ass, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. I got something for you. Selena. I got a story. I got a story for everybody talking about Selena. Everybody talking about Selena. Now, this is a story that was passed on to me. I overheard back in the gap. And uh, word travels fast in the ghetto. I'm going to put it like that. Word travels fast in the ghetto. So here we go. Pablo. Pablo, I don't know none of these people. This is what the story I overheard. I overheard being nosy. Pablo, it was 1996, February 14th, Valentine's Day, 1996. Pablo was in love with Cynthia. Pablo and Cynthia looked like they were on their way to a wonderful life, a beautiful life, potentially have some children, get married, buy a home, and get on with the get on. Not so fast. Valentine's Day was a day where men who are in a relationship, they get their girl something. So Pablo went out, got his lady some candy, got, him, got her some flowers, bought her a little cute little bracelet, and made dinner reservations for him and Cynthia around, I think it was like 7.30. He made the reservation for about 7.30. So the plan was, he's gonna go out. Cynthia was at home. So he was gonna go out, get her stuff, and make the dinner reservations. So at the time, you know, they were living together, but Cynthia's been real busy. Her mom wasn't doing too good. She was a little bit sick. So some days Cynthia would be gone for a while. So Cynthia, uh, on Valentine's Day, she was like, uh, they had they had met up. He was like, hey, um, haven't seen you in a while. I want to do something special for you. I got a whole bunch of stuff planned. He didn't tell her what. He just let her know that he had a whole bunch of stuff planned for. She was like, okay, Poppy, okay. So as Poppy over there getting the stuff, the flowers, the candy, and going down to the jeweler to get the bracelet, chain of events. Things wasn't looking too good for Pablo. I don't know what was going on this day. I don't know, but he just kept coming up facing bad luck. The flowers he got, for some reason, they just died. He bought the flowers, he bought the uh, chocolate, Gotta remind you, Pablo's in a rush to get everything going for this old lady. So he gets to the car and for some reason, the flowers died within a few hours. Cause he got the flowers first. He got the candy. Cause the jewelry store said the store was already ready. So he said he'll get this. Now me personally, I would've got the flowers last because they died. But usually flowers don't die that fast anyway. It's in February, it's, it's nice. It's California, it, it doesn't snow like New York. In Ohio. So it was a, a strange event were happening. The flowers died. Pablo gets down to the jewelry. He said, okay, I, I guess I'll just go back later and get, get her some more flowers. He looked at the candy box. Candy was expired. He go down to the jewelry store to go pick up the bracelet. It was the wrong damn bracelet. He ordered rose gold. That's her favorite. She loved rose gold. Little Cynthia. She loves rose gold. They gave him silver. It was a bracelet where her name was engraved. It said Cynthia on it. And with like little hearts. It was a nice bracelet. But it was silver. He wanted rose gold. So then he had a whole argument with these people. He said, I, I, I told you, I told you. I told you, rose gold, rose gold, rose gold. They said, we're sorry. What we can do is take it back and then we'll get you your rose gold. Father says, Zule, Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day is today. Valentine's Day is today. No flowers, no candy, no bracelet. 
as all these events begin to hit Pablo and his little Mexican ass, he 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 was smart enough to say, hey, I'm having a bad day. Let me make sure the dinner reservations are okay. He went over and he called the dinner uh, the spot where he made dinner reservations. He called them and said, hello, hello. They said, uh, yes. He said, is my dinner reservations still good? Is it still good? Is it still good? He said, yes. Such and such, Pablo, Cynthia, guest order for two, boom. At least he will have the dinner set. He said, well, he's thinking to himself, at least have the dinner set because around this time, it's getting close to four and he's still got to go home, get his cologne, get dressed. So you know Mexicans wear a lot of cologne. Latino men wear a lot of goddamn cologne. I don't know why. You can smell, you can tell when a Latino man is a, and a Latino women. I think they be uh, comp having competitions before they go out to them cantinas, before they go out to the club. He'll hit it twice, she'll hit it three times. He hit it three times, she hit it five times. I'm like, damn, it smells good now. Just a little bit overwhelming. Just a little bit overwhelming. Cool out with the perfume and cologne. You can smell them a mile away. Damn, oh yeah, all, all the Mexicans about to party. You can smell by the goddamn, all that goddamn cologne. Anyway, he's rushing home now. He went back to go get the flowers, and then all the flowers were gone. The flowers, that her favorite flowers were gone. Her, just so happened her favorite flowers are gone. He can't get her a, a, a different flower. He tried to get her the rose. They only had a rose left. So instead of a dozen, uh, he was only able to get her one. One flower. All the candy was picked. It was Valentine's Day. Everybody going through, all the men ran through there and got their stuff. Some of the women buying their girlfriends some too. You got to think, not just Valentine's Day, they get their stuff for their mamas. They get stuff for everybody. Pablo had a good plan. He got there early. Early in the day, it messed up. One rose, no chocolate, no bracelet. So they, he rushes home. Now it's getting close to five. They're rushing. Now they're getting ready. Say, baby, baby, she, she was, she was so excited for him to come through the door. He came to the door with one rose, looking crazy than a mofo. Pablo was looking crazy with that one rose. They opened it. And Cynthia looked, she was all, <laughs> she like, she looked at Pablo like he was at the wrong house. She looked at Pablo like he was at the wrong house. So they hurry up and get ready to go out to dinner. They go down to dinner and when they checked on their reservations, they put the reservations and there was two Pablos they gave their table to another Pablo. Pablo said, he don't know how this happened. His name is Pablo Gutierrez. The other one is Pablo Hernandez. So when Pablo Gutierrez, the Pablo that's with Cynthia, the one I'm talking about, the main character in the story, it was too late because it looks crazy that you're gonna uproot somebody else because you're a mistake. They're already eating. Pablo Hernandez and his beautiful woman his beautiful Spanish woman, they already eaten. And see, Pablo Hernandez got his stuff together, unlike Pablo Gutierrez. Pablo Hernandez, you can see the bling on his woman. You can see the champagne, over they popping champagne. You can hear the laughter coming from the table. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Pablo Hernandez is about to get smashed tonight, right? Pablo Hernandez is gonna get some booty all night. All night, champagne, dinner, roses, chocolate. He is about to get some ass. Pablo Gutierrez, another. So, so the host was apologizing. Now Pablo pissed off. He had a, Pablo had a messed up day. Pablo had a effed up day. Pablo said, "I, I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. <laughs> I had enough. I had enough." And this is this is uh, uh come on to DJ, uh, come on to DJ. Unacceptable, this is unacceptable. I told you I gave you my first and my last name. So Cindy, like, calm down, Pablo. He said, No, 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 it's not right, it's not right. They're at their table, they're at their table. So now it's seven o'clock. He said, The restaurant closed at 10, and he said, We won't have a table open till 9 30. He looked at Cynthia, Cynthia looking at him, and he said, What do you want to do, babe? She said, We'll take it. They got their table at 9.30, which means they have to scarf down their food. 
Waiters took their time. They didn't get their food to 9.50. They had to rush looking through the menu. Rush. 9.50. What a horrible Valentine's Day. This ain't the worst. This day, other chain of events happening. Cynthia was stressing over her mother. She needed to release some stress. Her and Pablo, things started to unravel between her and Pablo, but they were still together, but he still wanted to get her bracelet. So his bracelet was still in the works. He still, he made another reservations. And this time he made sure that it was the right name and he called every hour. So Pablo was working on rekindling his love with Cynthia because Cynthia did Pablo Gutierrez, the one I'm talking about, the main character, he ain't getting no booty. He ain't getting nada. Nada, Papa. He didn't get it, nothing, right? Because Cynthia wasn't in the mood. She wasn't in the mood for Carlos, I mean, I'm sorry, for Pablo's BS. And then her mother was sick. She had all this stress, so she had all this weighing on her. So one day, Pablo came home and Cynthia wasn't there. Cynthia was not there. So this is back in the gap. It's 96. Cell phones are just starting to come out. But he didn't have a cell phone. No knock, but it's still kind of new. So he's coming home, and so he's calling her sister. He's calling everybody. Some black dudes in the apartment, right? It was three of them. Jerome, DeAndre, and Jamal. Jerome, Dante, and Jamal. Pablo failed to realize that even though black and browns, they beef, we go to war through the gangs, through the cultural differences. Latino women love black men. What he also didn't realize, black men love Selena, the singer Selena. Black men, a lot of people don't realize how big uh, of an influence Selena had on a black, on a black population. Her elegance, she was only 23, her elegance, she was only 23 when she passed away, when she got shot. Her elegance, her big, pretty smile. She's flawless. She, The way she says her, the, the way she speaks her English is so clear. The way she pronunciates her Spanish is just so clear and so elegant. You can hear it. And seeing, see, black people love action. We saw how much, why is everybody gravitating toward this pretty little Latina chick? We bumped Selena. So long story short, while Pablo and Cynthia were going through it, Cynthia was having a bad day. Her mother, she had some bad news about her mother, right? So her mother, she could potentially have cancer. So Cynthia was sitting on her stool step in her apartment, in, uh, in the apartment that they were living in, uh, during the complex. Her and Pablo were staying together, but she was on her stoop. And these three guys, Jerome, Dante, and... Jamal, they were singing Selena. They were singing Selena. I could fall in love with you. They were all singing, drinking, smoking weed. Cynthia didn't know that black men love Selena. So the black men hit the corner and they saw Selena down and out with her head down. They said, hey, what's going on, little mama? Said, hola. And she said, hola. So they began to talk. They were like, what's going on? They're like, oh, nothing. She said, nothing, nothing. Said, you can talk to us. We ain't gonna bite, baby. We ain't gonna bite. And we all know when a bunch of niggas are together, they ready to bite. So little Cynthia said, she's telling her, she, her and her man going through it. Her mom might be uh, diagnosed with cancer. She might have cancer. They're like, oh, that's messed up. They offer some weed. You want some weed? They're like, no, no, no. He said, like, hey, man. Dante said, hey, man, chill, chill, chill. He said, my name is Dante, this Jamal, just Jerome. Uh, what's your name? She said, my name is Cynthia. They introduced each other. And she said, uh, you like Selena? He said, oh yeah, we love Selena. They kept singing. I could fall in love with you. Oh, and now, before they were just singing, now they singing to her, all three of them. I could fall in love with you and they all pointed to Cynthia with you and so this was the first time in a long time now Cynthia never been with the brothers right she never been because I guess her family 
kind of kept her away from the, the black men, but they couldn't keep her away today. They giving her all this attention. They're cheering her up. Jamal saw a little flower. He went over there and picked her a flower. So here you go. Cynthia had the biggest smile on her face. That's all they took. While Pablo was looking for Cynthia, he finally found uh, Cynthia. He finally found her in the most uncomprom uncompromising position. One of the neighbors, he was asking around, have you seen Cynthia? Have you seen Cynthia? One of the neighbors said, mucho negros. Mucho negros with them. A lot of blacks. <laughs> he said, he said, como? He said, mucho negros. And he pointed to the apartment that Cynthia was in. When Pablo opened that door, all three of them brothers was running the train on little Cynthia. Pablo opened that door. He was mortified. He opened that door. He let out a scream. <laughs> he that screen everybody heard everybody heard they were giving little Cynthia the business I'm talking about stuffing her like a holiday turkey my G them three brothers were stuffing her like a holiday turkey while she was getting stuffed this is what this bra say she said eh, she remind you she's still getting dug out eh, 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 oh, it's not what you think it's not what you think <laughs> It's not what you think, Pablo. It's not what you think. Dante comes over while Jerome and Jamal continue to blow Cynthia back out. He walks, he said, brother, look, we almost finished. You think you can uh, close the door? We're trying to get a little privacy up in here. We don't want everybody in our business. He said, we ain't going to harm her. He said, I, I, this your girl? He said, he said, Cynthia, Cynthia. He said, brother, brother, is this your girl? He said, yes. He said, look, 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 look. We are very respectable men. He said, we're only going to do what she wants done to it. So come on, go, go ahead and close this door, man. You be letting the flies in, mosquitoes come in. Come on, brother, close the door. We're going to have her back. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. For you other cultures who believe that you can keep black men away from your women. You're fooling yourself. We are genetically superior to all races, for one. Don't let the TV, this is the second point, don't let the TV fool you. Most black men are culture. We appreciate the Asian culture. We beef with all the cultures, but we appreciate the white culture. We appreciate the Asian culture. A lot of our people, black people, speak Spanish. So don't slip up. Don't slip up thinking that we're just dumb monkeys. Very cultured. Especially when it comes to getting behind a Latina. If it, if it comes down to getting behind a woman that's non-black, we're going to learn that language. We're going to find a way to learn that language. We're going to find a way to charm her. Third note, Pablo has had a rough February. That was a rough February in 1996. Rough February. Never trust three men that are picking flowers, singing Selena. I could fall in love with you. I'm gone.